Over the years, the port of Banjul has been internationally recognized as one of the safest and most efficient ports in West Africa and offers reliable and value-for-money services to its numerous customers. After every two years, the Gambia Ports Authority will dredge its waters due to lost depths. A few months ago, the dredging contract was offered to Sino Majilak Jalbak Investment Company, a Gambian-based firm, to recover its lost depths. But what was the result of this dredging within a short period? Yankuba Mani, Public Relations Officer, Gambia Ports Authority, on phone, explains more to Sahel Network TV. I mean, we had the ship's anchor okay. or dock, uh, yes. So they were not all accessible due to the depth because we have lost the necessary required uh, depth of, of, of certain uh, uh, okay. bats. Okay. So we, we, we hired them. Uh, and then, I mean, contracted them and then they've done that now, they've completed it. So, meaning now, all the bars, all the bars that we have, almost five to six of them, they are all accessible. They can be accessed by, by ships once they arrive in Banjo. Okay. So, that's, it. that's 100% uh, bar capacity now. We have reached the 100% bar capacity. So, all the bars can be used. <laughs> Most commodities consumed by the Gambian population comes by sea. Rice, canned food, cement and many others. How significant is having a full boat at the Gambia ports currently? It means the volume of trade will now increase. Okay? The volume of trade will now increase. Uh, the demand also will go up. Uh, it means uh, more revenue as well. Because, uh, and then it will also re- reduce uh, the waiting time, ship waiting time. Uh, at the anchorage. They, when they are there, uh, we will now use the, the bats available because since we have met the depth required for their batting, uh, they will just come seal and then bat and then discharge as, uh, quickly and leave as well. Yeah, so that's, that's the order. The, the quick turnaround time will be, will be faster now. Okay. Yeah, and then and that will also translate into uh, the the ship calls. I mean, the number of ships that are coming annually as well. Because they, if they come, they stay a little bit, a, a little time here. They don't stay longer, uh, discharge, and then load again, leave. Uh, now, the quicker that is done, the better for the port. And that's how we measure the port. Uh, it will promote our port productivity and efficiency as well. Price hike is one of the major concerns of people in the Gambia. Mothers that visit the market always complain that things are expensive and sometimes plead to the government to reduce prices of commodities. Some claim that this is also as a result of heavy tax levied on ships that dock at the ports. According to Yanku Bamani, public relations officer, since 2013, the Gambia ports has not changed its tariff, so it's not a factor of price increment. I can assure you that um, since 2013, uh, the ports has, has not increased or decrease any any tariff. Our tariffs are stagnant as far back as 2013 of today. So meaning, uh, that means 20 foot container, uh, we charge, uh, we call it also, also handling charges. Uh, 20 foot container, you pay $1,500 because we are using, this, the logic there is because we are using our equipment and they need to be maintenance to avoid being tearing and wearing them. Okay, and then we, that sort of thing. So that is it. 40 foot is 1,500, and then 750 for 20 foot containers. So the charges are, are, are stagnant. They are still the same. So it's not, you know, one thing people need to understand. Uh, <clears throat> the port of Banjun, of course, we occupy it, but uh, there are other players too that are involved in it. Uh, definitely, there is no. There, I'm not sure we are. We are. We are the heart of uh, the increase in the price of basic commodities in this country. Business is always bad for the ports when ships anchor at sea as a result of insufficient space to berth. With the country having a 40 percent increase in trade volume, the Gambia Ports Authority has plans of expansion. It's not good. Uh, ships should not come. It's not good for productivity and efficiency purpose. Uh, however, like I said, we are constrained uh, now. Uh, we have a space constraint because um, because of the, the, the increase in volume that we handle over the decade. Uh, uh, you know, you look at it from 2010 to 2020. Uh, our volume of uh, our trade volume has increased by 40 percent, and then the land the land facility. I mean, the facilities that we have. 
for in the state in, in, in the in, in the aspect of land is still stagnant. It's not increasing, but the volume has increased by thirty percent, by forty percent. So you mean that that means we have we are still under pressure. Okay, we are constrained in terms of space. That's why you have the congestion. And once there is congestion onshore, uh, I mean offshore, meaning at the at the terminals, there is congestion where you don't have space to, I mean, to to deal with the or pass the the, 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 the containers. Then at sea too, you will have a congestion. So that's why ships are at the anchorage waiting. So which is obviously in a in a true true sense, it's not um, it's not uh, it's not it's not it's not good in uh, for for production productivity and efficiency. Discussions are ongoing to expand the port uh, jetty. Uh, when I say jetty, these are the the ones <coughs> where the uh, I mean the ships barge. Okay, uh, we are constrained in terms of that because I said the ship call the number of ships that are coming is increasing over the year over the years. So and then does the need for us to you know go into jetty expansion or uh, we increase our bad capacity. He assured the general public that efforts are on the way to solve congestion challenges at the ports. Ivan Adi Wilson for Sahel Network TV, Banjul.